Hey everyone, it's Nathan Orenstein from The No Show here to talk about Vince Gilligan's El Camino. El Camino stars Aaron Paul and is written by Vince Gilligan. This is a direct follow-up to the finale of Breaking Bad, and it focuses entirely on what happens to Jesse after those events. While I'm not going to go into any major spoilers, or any spoilers really, this is definitely a movie that's made for Breaking Bad fans. With that in mind, let's move on. Breaking Bad is without a doubt my favorite TV show of all time. Now, I don't watch too much TV, but I figured this fact might be relevant in my discussion of El Camino. Furthermore, Jesse Pinkman is probably one of my favorite characters of all time from any show, movie, book, or video game. That being said, I was definitely concerned when I saw the announcement for El Camino, despite how good the trailer was. I thought Breaking Bad ended perfectly, and I didn't really see any reason for anyone to try to mess with that. Despite all this, I'm happy to announce that El Camino does not taint the reputation of Breaking Bad, or for Jesse Pinkman for that matter. El Camino doesn't really feel like a movie. It feels like one massive episode of Breaking Bad, and to that extent, I feel like it both helps and hurts the film a bit. I'll start with the positives. Vince Gilligan hasn't missed a beat with either his direction or his writing on El Camino. Breaking Bad might have ended six years ago, but this genuinely feels like an immediate follow-up. The dialogue is the same hard-hitting yet witty mashup you remember from the show, and characters behave and talk like you remember them too. Gilligan has even managed to recreate the overall feeling of the show, if that makes any sense. His trademarks are still here, from his nighttime time lapses to the music that tonally works on several different levels at once. This truly does not feel like a gimmicky cash grab to appeal to the massive fan base of Breaking Bad. It's obvious from the very first shot that Vince Gilligan has worked incredibly hard to recreate this world again, and it's obvious that his meticulous work that he put in a Breaking Bad is here in El Camino as well. But now we have to talk about why El Camino doesn't really benefit from feeling like one long episode. Most notably, El Camino feels pretty slow. It never quite reaches a point of tedium, but I will admit that it does come close at times. Events are decently spread out, and they're interspersed with flashbacks. And without much of a sense of modern-day progression, El Camino does suffer from a slow pace that really does drag the film down a bit. El Camino also feels much more gloomy than a typical Breaking Bad episode, and while this does work perfectly for the atmosphere and the story that the movie is trying to tell, it does genuinely make things feel even more slow than they really are. In terms of other complaints I have with the film, they're mostly nitpicks. First off, some of the events do feel a little too coincidental. I never really got that impression in Breaking Bad, as everything kind of seemed to have a big piece in this overall world, but here in the movie, I did notice it a bit. I don't think this is bad by any means, but just a little noticeable. Furthermore, I thought some of the things that happened in the, sh in the movie kind of get just brushed off to the side, um, which was a little bit strange, but again, nothing horrible. The rest of this review will be more subjective than I tend to get, so take what I have to say with a grain of salt, I guess. As I mentioned earlier, this movie really didn't have to exist. And now that it's here and I've seen it, I still mostly feel the same way. Yes, it's nice to have some closure as to what happens to Jesse Pinkman, but honestly, I kind of already assumed this had happened six years ago when the show ended. That being said, this movie genuinely feels like a continuation or an epilogue, and it doesn't do anything to mess with the already established finale. This really has to be commended because so many of these types of movies just try to change the past and ultimately piss people off in doing so. But it still just doesn't feel necessary to me. This has definitely been the hardest film for me to talk about on this channel and honestly my opinions are still shifting as we speak. For a film that doesn't need to exist it's done really well. Vince Gilligan has perfectly recreated this world and has brought all the same Breaking Bad magic that made the show so good. Sure, it is pretty slow at times, but at the end of the day, it's more Breaking Bad, and who doesn't want that? I doubt any fans of the show are going to be disappointed by El Camino, but I also can't imagine anyone being too excited by its events either. El Camino rides this weird line, and honestly, I can't really put my finger on how I feel about it. So I'm going to give El Camino a 7 out of 10 for now, but honestly, that's still kind of up in the air. At the end of the day, though, it's two more hours of Breaking Bad, and I don't think anyone's going to turn that down. If you like this review, then go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you've seen El Camino already, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. 
I've been Nathan Orenstein with The No Show. Thanks for watching.